Rose Creates. I'm Robin Schmidt and I'm an independent chocotour designer and I'm here to share with you my love of crafting and creating with chocotours reusable silkscreen transfers and chocology paste. I like to throw in another or other techniques and craft uh, products in with the uh, chalking and today we're going to experiment a little bit more with um, distressed spray stain but these are the metallic ones I haven't worked too much with the metallics they do have a little ball in there you need to shake them up make sure they're mixed up these are by Ranger which is a Tim Holtz design product um, that you can find in some craft stores you may have to find them online I get the bigger bottles through Amazon I believe I'm going to work with tarnished brass and antique bronze but I'm going to try and and these are usually used I believe in paper crafts like on cardstock and to color um, but I've been using them on surfaces mostly in just stains not the metallics so I'm going to try to do it uh, with another technique that I like to use is what I call paper towel press and try to get a pattern on the background of my surface and our surface today is the diagonal palette by Chocotour. It comes gray like this and I spray painted this one just a few minutes ago. I dried it with my dry herbs so hopefully it'll be okay without having time to cure but I used uh, Krylon's Color Max it's an indoor outdoor it's a metallic oil rubbed bronze so it actually has a little bit of a metallic sparkle in it um, I used this on a burlap boards and you could really see the shimmer in that fabric um, it's still in here too but I think it really looked um, more bronzy and shimmery on that burlap but this is the background and right now all you're seeing is the sheen from the paint, but there is a little bit of metallic sparkles in it. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit more metallic to the background and then when we get our background set, we're gonna use a Chocotour transfer, Far From Home. So it says, Far From Home, Born to Rome. It's got this cool globe on it, some floral centering around the emphasis of the design is the earth globe obviously but I think it's gonna be cool putting a little bit of background and I was kind of inspired by this piece and I'm not gonna lie it's from Pirates of the Caribbean okay during the Johnny Depp trial I realized I haven't really seen very many Johnny Depp movies so I watched all of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies <laughs> and a couple others and this kind of reminds me of pirate not pirate ships but ships of that era um, just the old world I don't know why it does but it just uh, and the quote far from home born to Rome it kind of reminds me of the the great ships from that time period and I thought well if if it was an art piece hanging in that on a ship um, a nice ship not necessarily a pirate ship but you know what would it what would it be uh, what would it look like I think it would be probably a stained dark stained wood um, or even a metal um, with just probably white print and um, we're gonna do white we are gonna do a little bit of green and, and blue on this one I don't know if it had all those colors it probably just be white paint because maybe I'm wrong but I just try to visualize like hmm what would that look like and how could I jazz it up to modern days <laughs> that's just how my brain thinks I'm just think kind of crazy sometimes so this is a 12 by 18 this surface is a 12 by 18 palette board uh, let me know if you've seen all the Pirates of the Caribbean movies I want I like watched them all like probably within the week probably kept me up late at nights but I kind of binge 
in my old days. I didn't get to see a lot of movies when I was raising my kids. I felt we were always running, going, um, doing, and uh, never really got to see too many movies unless it was a kid's movie. And um, we did not see Pirates of the Caribbean. So if you've seen them all or any other Johnny Depp movies that you were a fan of, let me know. Barbara says she hasn't seen any. The first two are a little more uh, scary, I guess you could say. The last two, I think, are a little more real, realistic, a little bit, and uh, a little bit very, very, a little bit better storylines, I think. I mean, that, that's just me, probably because I'm looking for a uh, romance. <laughs> but anyway, they're they're good. It's it's amazing how how they are made. Uh, of course, Johnny's acting is amazing. So, all right, let's get started. So we've painted it, spray painted it with this oil bronze, uh, metallic oil rubbed bronze spray paint. And of course, it's, it's pretty smooth. You know, it's not like chalk paint, but I'm gonna spray on some of this. I'm gonna try, let's try the gold first. But what I'm gonna do is I kinda wanna spritz it on and then press the paper towel and see if I can get some pattern off of the paper towel. And this will be setting the background. And if it doesn't work, I don't know. It, it'll be what it'll be. I think I will put my apron on. So I uh, don't get any paint on my shirt. Um, but yeah, I'm just, you know, I like to experiment. And uh, I just dream things up as I go. So let's just see how it works. Let's make sure we shake this. And let's say hello to Barbara from California. They are great on services. Yes, they are. I've, I've used them a lot, but I usually just use the stain ones and not the, the metallic. So let's see. It would make an awesome tattoo. <laughs> right? Love the pirate movie, Robin said. I do too. Like I said, I like the last two better, but they were good. Okay, let's see what we can do here. You can see it kind of just splatters and spritz, which in itself is kind of cool. Well, let me see what it does if I press. Let's see. I'm just going to press lightly for at first. So I don't know if it's really going to... No, it doesn't. It just kind of still gives the pattern splattered look. A little bit of the a little bit of the texture from the towels coming through but not really the design necessarily okay I think I almost liked it better just splattered but let's do um, let's do it splattered on again yeah. I think I want it to splatter up and down more because the project will hang uh, vertical. So we kind of have the layering of it pressed and then we're going to leave the splattered. And then I'm going to do a little bit of the bronze too. I mean, yeah, antique bronze. This one's really got a sharp spray on it. Actually, I'm going to just leave it with the gold. I think I like it just with the gold. I don't know if I want to mix that color in. I'm going to leave just the gold. Or the tarnished brass. Tarnished brass. I'm going to leave it like that. I don't want to complicate it. Okay. If you barely press it, it drips more than the sprays. Okay. 
Now I'm just going to dry it with my dryer. This may take a while. Let's see. Can you show us up close the bottle? Did you see it? Stress spray stain. Comes in all kinds of colors, every color, and then it has metallics. And they have the ball in them that you need to shake up and mix. I think my favorite debt movie was What's Eating Gilbert Grape. I haven't seen that. I haven't hardly seen any. I did watch who was earlier on in his career. I'm gonna think about Chocolate. Chocolate. I saw that one. This may take a while. I may have to press it because there's like little puddles of it. And so I may like dampen it just to absorb that a little bit. So I like the splattered look too. I'm making sure my splatters are even. Like it could be some right there. Those are going to take a minute, so I'm going to just kind of press on the puddles and see if I can just absorb it a little bit. Just to hurry this along. I'm going to dry it better now. Just trying to get rid of the wet bubbles. pretty good. I'm a huge Leonardo DiCaprio fan and his is in and he's in the movie with Johnny Depp. Oh, with the grape one. Uh I already forgot what it was called. It's something great. I've heard of it. Uh Eating Gilbert Grape. Hmm. I might have to take that on. All right. Um I'm thinking maybe we should put a little bit of wax on it. I don't really want it to take away from the uh, metallic, but I think a little bit won't hurt. Now, if I gave this a day or two to cure, 
the paints to cure, maybe I wouldn't worry so much about it um, lifting up the paint from the sticker of the transfer. So I'm just trying to put the wax on so that doesn't happen. I use Min Wax Finishing Wax Paste. This is the natural. They also have a stained one. And you can get this at any home improvement center. Okay. Let's see what it looks like so far. It's all its craziness. Definitely needs to go this way. All right, let's see what let's see what the transfer does. And it's like um, I don't think I want to distress it anymore or anything like that. I don't know. So this, these, of course, fit perfectly on the surface because they're made to go together. So, um, hmm. You know, you could do the whole greenery, um, white lettering maybe, a little blue in here if you want. Or you could just do it all in white or cream. I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do everything in white except for the globe. I might try to do in a antique blue, maybe. But it would have to be kind of a light blue, maybe, so it shows up on this. On this, this is what I'm trying to decide. And I don't think I'm gonna use any shimmer paints, paste, because I don't think I want it to be all about metallics and shimmers. I want that contrast. So let's let's pull greens and blues over and let's see if we think it looks good with it. Even like sea foam or jade. I don't know how well jade would show up. This is eucalyptus. These three are, are very similar. They're just different shades. I think you kind of want to keep the darkness and the mystery of uh, it all with darker colors, except for the white part, which will be the lettering, or it could be like an off-white um, in here. And then I think I would do the ring around the globe in the white and then bring in some kind of a blue in here. I don't think we have the best... Ooh. Sometimes we don't have just the right shade of blue. The, the dusky blue, which is a new color this season right now. Maybe those two colors. Like that. Alright. And then let's use um we don't use I don't I don't think I want to use a bright white. I want to use more like a off-white. So what does that leave us with? Almonds and old one. What do we call this? Uh, Dune? Maybe? Sometimes you can mix like Dune and uh, white and get more like this almond color. Almond was a color at one time. And you can kind of make that with, it's just a lighter shade of Dune. Mix Dune with some white. So you have a little bit brighter. 
package. I think I'll do that route. So. You could also go into the grazes. I think I want more of a white. I just had it on my counter before I started. And I thought I put it in here. That's the old white. I opened a new white. Ah, here it is. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. I'm just gonna check out the doom. Check out my almond. Got out the dune and the white in case I need to make more almond. This will probably this will be enough actually. But to get this color, you can mix dune with a little bit of white, okay? Just to lighten it up a little bit. And I have this dusky blue. We're gonna work on the globe with that. And then the greenery and uh, jade. I'm not sure if jade's a current color, but. Still visualizing it. My my dilemma is to do all white and just do blue in the middle. Um, we'll go ahead and add the greenery. Or could just do the greenery here on this greenery and do this in white. Kind of uh, emphasis on the globe and then just going out to the white. From there, hmm. I do think I will fuzz this. I haven't been fuzzing my transfers much because I don't think they're overly sticky. Yeah, I just don't. Especially when you wax something, I don't really know if you need to. Can you see how sticky it is? We have these uneven boards of the pallets right here. It's, one's kind of higher than the other, which make, may make the paste puddle a little bit in that area. We'll see. I'm going to use a smaller squeegee. I'm just going to go um, around the globe here. And then I think I th was thinking about doing these stripes in the cream. Um, or I could just do them all in blue. Or I could do that one in green. Come out to greens. Decisions, decisions, right? Maybe I'll do that. This, it'll be easier to do this first ring in the blue.
dealing with those palette boards being a little bit uneven right there. And okay. Let's start with the uh, might do this almond in this ring and then uh, go to green and do the lettering in the almond. I may have to pull the transfer up and then lay it back down so the paste doesn't dry in the silk screen because this is going to take a minute. I'm going to quickly do the, the lettering, and I'm going to pick it up, dry it, and then lay it back down, matching up the letters so we can put the greenery on. dry it. I'm going to lay it back down and put all the greenery on it. It looks pretty cool. All right. Kind of looks like outer space. <laughs> Three colors are pretty for counting the background. It's nice and dry. We'll lay it back down and do the green. Kind of thinking of maybe doing two shades of green. Let's see. What other shade would I do? I always usually do two shades when I'm working with greens, but probably like eucalyptus that one's probably going to overkill the other let's see if you could there's a new one they're very very similar Yeah, 
So just line up your letters. Maybe I'll do the, the um, eucalyptus here and then the jade on the outside ones. Let's go to the jade and put that out here. Even though there's flower heads on this greenery, it makes it less complicated if you just put them all in the one color. Easy on the eye because you want your focal point to be the earth, the globe. See where this is uh, taking us to. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Isn't it pretty? All right. So I'm going to lay it down. So I can put this down. And then we'll dry it. And, uh, show you again. Oh, that's pretty. Just a little bleed out right here, probably caused by the uneven palette boards. I'm just going to take a wet wipe and very faint. There we go. Okay. There. You 
always see this in a really distinct uh, library or office. I think it would look really pretty. I like how the gold splatters show through on the uh, continents. It's pretty cool. Kind of neat. Something fun and different. I like. If you wanted to, you could take some gold metallic paint and like paint the edges to make it look like more like a frame. But just on this this edge might look cool. You can just leave it brown. It turned out really cool on my ship from the 15, 1600s. <laughs> this is gonna hang in the captain's office. Pretty cool. All right, thanks for joining me. Today is Friday. Tomorrow we go uh, bridal gown shopping for my, my uh, future daughter-in-law. They're my son's fiance and mom and me and couple sisters. I think Avery's going, my daughter, and then her sister. And so we're going to go shopping for wedding dresses tomorrow. So that'll be fun. Haven't done that in a few years. And uh, that's about it, I think, for the weekend. So have a great one. Uh, Hank and Vivian should be here on Monday. So hopefully we'll get them on here and work on some of those bugs. Remember, these bugs are just available through this month. That's right. As far as I know, you can earn them free, these transfers free. I think with a $60 purchase of product, you earn this one. Add a little bit more, maybe up to 80 I can't remember. You can add these for free. Or you can buy them separate. And uh, if you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of paste colors, check out our palette packs. We have different packs with different variety of singles. I was going to show you where did I do with it. Um... But check those out too. You can get like six different colors in singles instead of the jars to create with. So that's kind of fun. And you know what? Don't, don't take it all out. Just take a little bit out at a time. And just seal this in like a little zippy snack bag to keep it fresh. Or, you know, press all the paste down to the bottom. What you don't use. Fold this up. And tape it maybe is another great way. Um, maybe you want to open from the bottom so you can roll this down and still see the color. So if you push a little bit out, because you know it doesn't take much to create, uh, and you got left in your packet, if you opened it from the bottom, then you could roll this down and tape it across, and then you still see the color of what's in there. So check out the paste packets. Check out if you're new and you want to try it. We also have um, kits under kits. Look under that for a little project you can do. Um, if you want to become a designer this month only, you can get the starter kit for $59 versus $99. So that's a great thing because then you'll be able to enjoy, enjoy our discount, uh, designer discount of 40% off retail if you become a designer. And I would be glad for you to join under me. I'll help you get started. I'll help you along your journey. Um, if you have any questions, um, shoot me a message and I'm glad to help you. Otherwise, check out the links up above in my description. Um, how you can join Chaka Tour, how you can shop for Chaka Tour, how you can join the club and uh, get that monthly transfer every month. So check it out and I'll talk with you later. I'm going to go roam for the weekend. <laughs> Bye.